Hi there. Let me take a few minutes and see if I can help you get started on your first online assignment. In class, we have been trying to describe the spreads for sample data. So when we calculate a spread in the calculation for a standard deviation specifically, the first thing we do is calculate deviations. What's interesting though is in the end, we don't end up dividing by the number of deviations, we end up dividing by one less than the number of deviations. And the goal of this exercise is to try to motivate why we divide by one less than the number of deviations. So a main theme in our class is to try to use the characteristics of a sample to describe the characteristics of an entire population. So let's start this exercise by using a really simple population. Let's pretend that we know the entire population. There are only three observations. Here they are in our population. Those observations are 1 and 3 and 14. So I can find my population mean. I can add the 1 and the 3 and the 14. And I can divide by 3. That's 18 divided by 3. That's 6. So I know the actual population mean is 6. Now, there are only three observations in the population. That means that in the population there are also only three deviations from the mean. So the observations in the population are 1, 3, and 14. So the deviations from the mean would be 1 minus 6, 3 minus 6, and 14 minus 6. So those deviations would be negative 5, negative 3, and this would be 8. Let's square these deviations and take their sum. 1 minus 6, 3 minus 6, 14 minus 6. This would be negative 5. Negative 5 squared would be 25. This would be negative 3. Negative 3 squared would be 9. This is 8. 8 squared is 64. That sum is 98. <clears throat> now, these are the only possible squared deviations in the population. Because this is special, because we know everything in the population, we are not going to divide by n minus 1. We're not going to divide by 1 less than the number of deviations. We will not divide by 2. Because we know the entire data set for the entire population, I can divide instead by 3. So if I take that 98 and divide by 3, that gives me 32.7 to one decimal place. This is known as the variance, V-A-R-I. A N C E. This is the variance for the population. So note, to find the standard deviation for the population, all we would have to do would be to take the square root of this value. So the variance represents the sum of the squares of all of the deviations, and they've also been divided appropriately. So for the population, dividing appropriately means dividing by the actual number of deviations. That's three. In a sample, dividing appropriately would mean dividing by one less than the number of deviations. And that's what we need to try to explain. So in order to explain that, we are going to take samples from our population. Our population is 1, 3, and 14. And we are going to take samples of size 2. And as we take these samples, we are going to take these samples with replacement. So in other words, I'm going to randomly choose two observations from my population. But then after I choose one, I'm going to put it back into the population so it may be chosen a second time. On the next page, you'll see a table where we are going to list the possible samples of size 2 and investigate some of their characteristics. Click on the next video and we'll continue with the second page.